market. Interview take one. Peter, how would you define the funny bones comedian? Among older comedians, the phrase funny bones is not just a figure of speech, it's a reality. You either have or you haven't got funny bones. Somebody who has funny bones will make a situation funny, and somebody who hasn't got funny bones can only really relate a funny situation. Or, to look at it another way, the non-funny bones comedian tells funny, while the funny bones comedian is funny. He has a funny persona, he simply can't help being funny. You may laugh with the non-funny bones comedian, but you laugh at the funny bones comedian. Most comedians are subject to depression off stage, probably because they bear our miseries and misfortunes as well as their own. They encapsulate all the foolishness of which human beings are capable, and they are essentially innocents. Children. In a grown-up world, and they react not as men, but as ten-year-olds. And as it seems that all good comedy has its basis in truth, then um, there has to be, then, an acceptance not just of the joyous, but a playing out of the truly dark, the uh, agonizing, the painful, the tortuous, and at the risk of losing sympathy, the really suppressed frustration and anger and heartfelt suffering of the maladjusted child in a big, wide, frenzied world masquerading as an adult. Um, with the Funny Bones comedian, you often feel that with the verging forever on the dark and the black side of life, as if to ward off misery, um, then in the final analysis, I suppose, everything is a gag. Good. <laughs> All right, very well.